Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2022 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to color correct and make it nice and blue looking, kind of like you're looking at Ozark. Let me show you here. Here's the original shot here, it's just some stock footage. And then here it is with the color correction and the color effects applied. Now before I go into the details, let me show you what I'm talking about. If you go here and you're just on Netflix, you'll see here that these are just snippets from Ozark. And then, I mean, this whole series, the whole fourth season is just blue. Everything's blue. As you can see here, I'm just clipping through and it's just blue, blue. This one's dark, obviously pretty dark, but I mean, blue, blue effect, really blue effect, little bit of blue effect, really blue effect. I mean, it's just blue. Everything in this series is blue. How the heck did they do it? Let me show you. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go back to work. Okay, first step, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to delete the composition. We're going to start from scratch. Drag and drop the footage that you want to color correct into the timeline like I've done here. And then I'm just going to take like a, a short snippet of it. So maybe like 10 seconds or something. Okay, good. We've got our 10 seconds or so of footage, eight, nine seconds of footage. Good stuff. Second step, we're going to duplicate it. Hold down the Alt or the Option key, left click and hold up and you're going to create a duplicate copy. We're going to work on the top copy because that way we can compare it. All right, the next step here is we want to go to our effects panel here, or alternatively, you can go to window up here at the top, and we want Lumetri Color is what we're looking for. Left click and make sure there's a check mark beside that. When you do that, Lumetri Color should load up right over here for you. Okay, let's get rolling. I'm just going to click through this very, very quickly. The number one thing you need to realize is that this is a temperature change. So when I watch what happens here as I'm working on the top clip, as I slowly move this to the left on their temperature, it's gone from bright orangish, which it sort of starts at, and we're moving it now to the left. This is cooling the image. This is called cooling, and it's very, very easy to do inside Premiere Pro. Now, for some of you, that might be all you need to do, and that's it. I will note, though, that what I like to do is I like to click on Auto, just like this, and then it does a whole bunch of calculations for us, and this just uses its Adobe Sensei AI technology, and it is this is what it thinks what the best settings are then I go ahead and I just pull down the temperature till I get that blue effect and then if I close up and I just see here and then I just sort of scan through it we've got the blue effect pretty much dialed in now I will note here that if you go into the curves you can go in and open up these curves this is where I do a little bit of extra work if you want to really go down the rabbit hole for example you can go into the RGB curves Click on the blue curve, and then if you want to add a little bit more blue in it, you can pull it up, and you can add some blue in manually. But nine times out of ten, you don't need to do that, guys. That's how you get the Ozark look in like two minutes inside Premiere Pro. It's an amazing program, amazing options. Thanks for watching, guys. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.